now we will check a diff current reversal fault protection so red this is the settings uh, the time delay one second this is the blocking time and uh, pur scheme also should be enabled and uh, function logic pur uh, enable then check application configuration also this is the current reversal function current reversal function so check this is the uh, reverse block and the carrier receive this is carrier receiver we will check another thing this output we take for output for dip trip after blocking it will trip so the time delay uh, carry receive we will check this one the first one first page we give a def reverse fault def reverse fault then second page we make it def forward fault this is our setting a def setting 50 percentage 15 percentage that means more than 1.5 so i keep it this one this is the forward angle uh, 280 and uh, this one a reverse angle 162 this forward angle then stage 2 we put timing this time okay and uh, this stage 1 the stage 1 60 cycle this is for uh, tp1 value now you see here you can see this value tp1 value 0 0.20 second so more than this value if um, reverse fault def reverse fault will come then only it will then only it will consider the reverse zone fault if less than uh, the time will come reverse zone fault it's not considered you see the how work the current reversal function and this is the if line 1 line 2 more than if fault is line 1 not here line 2 so no need to trip line 2 that's why they use current reversal protection when fault coming in line 1 the time a b c d 4 breaker close uh, so the c it's a reverse zone fault d it's measuring forward fault and this is actual fault a and b is actual fault uh, if a open b not over. if instantaneous time a open in case b not open that time the relay c will measuring forward fault relay d measure reverse zone fault then uh, relay d give to carry sent relay c then relay c measuring already uh, it's monitoring for reverse fault also so it will work mall operation so you read the theory i already written Now we'll check the function. Now you see the function block of communication scheme function block. Eh? Now I injected three say zone for first eh? reverse zone fault, eh? next eh? forward zone fault, eh? and eh? timing without carrier send because I am not giving carrier send command. Eh? See now this one def reverse yes strv reverse this is the forward def forward and carrier receive uh, this def forward so you can see the communication trip also and output we take output now without carrier receive see first def reverse and blocking again this def reverse and blocking after that it's coming forward also okay so there is no time it's not a tripping because it's black 
it is blocked the first one you see here the function block current reversal the current reversal this is the blocking so it's okay this time is block once I give input of current carrier receive diff carrier receive now check it will trip after forward it will trip see here the trip will put also one more time first coming current reversal then black scheme also coming after that current forward and carry receive it will give trip it's all changing now you can see in the red line same here also timing you can verify now timing okay our setting one second after one second it is trip after one second eh, if fault is there then it will trip okay and uh, the tp1 below this one t pickup review value below 20 below 20 second if uh, forward reverse fault coming below 20 seconds if reverse fault coming this is reverse fault setting here eh? reverse fault coming it's not working it's not considered the reverse zone fault see here 